Hello, welcome to the channel, especially welcome to all you McFlysters out there. Uh, we'd like to say we appreciate your support on our channel. McFly fans have been very kind to us, to Nathan and myself on our channel regarding our fandom and our love of McFly. And we still hope to this day, we still hope that we'll get to see them live one day. And we're about to watch a live performance. My understanding, this is a vintage performance. This is a performance from yesteryears when the when they were just young lads, I believe. This is from one of our faithful and amazing longtime patrons, Christina. She had this to say. I'm giving you a live video of McFly covering the 1969 song Pinball Wizard, which I do know, Christina. So I should have told you. Uh, I know a lot of who, like a lot of their hits and Pinball Wizard, I definitely know. I definitely know the song. So I'm looking forward to seeing McFly's coverage of the song. Uh, the video is Vintage McFly, she said. But then so is the original song. Uh, she goes on to say, I have uh, I've enjoyed uh, some songs by The Who and some not so much. Yeah, that's normal. The Who is like that, aren't they? You know, they got Bob O'Reilly. They got some, Then they have some snoozers, too. But, um, yeah. However, this is one of my favorites by them and actually kind of like it better than the original. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so wonder if you'll think the same. Well, we'll find out. I know you're always honest with me, and that's what I'm here for. On to the tune, as she says. Well, well, I couldn't have introduced the song better. So on to the tune, indeed. Is this their is this their bad hair days? This is the bad hair days. This is tricky. This is tricky. I'll tell you why. Because it's kind of not fair. So we've mentioned before about McFly. They're very lucky to have two lead singers in uh, Tom and Danny, right? These guys can both kill vocals. 
So it's almost kind of not fair to compare the original with this. Now, the original gets full credit for being the original, that it was The Who and Robert Roger Daltrey and um, Pete Townsend, of course, who created that wonderful song. But it's almost not fair that you get these guys who can both sing. So they're carrying the backup vocals together, doing the back and forth together, the different octaves and levels together that Roger, of course, can't do on stage. He's a one person singer. I don't think Pete really sings. I don't think he sings very much. I could be wrong. I don't know the who very well. I just don't know their live stuff. And quite frankly, let's just be honest, Tom and Danny are better singers than Roger. Roger's a great guy, you know, but I wouldn't say his singing is what draws people to who I think it's his stage presence, his lyric writing, that kind of stuff. He's, he's a decent singer. I, am I being bad? But I don't think he's a, I don't, I wouldn't consider him like a powerful singer, like Phil Collins, you know, or even Peter Gabriel or people like that. Like, like, so I don't think he's in that kind of singing category. He fits the who, but I don't think his vocals are, you know, they're not like, Oh, I hope I can cover a who song. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Um, but the problem is, is that in a good problem is McFly is very talented. So yeah, I agree. I'm getting there, Christina. So they all nailed their parts. And then you had the acoustic guitar going to play that part along with then Tom could come with the strum of the electric. So that's what I'm getting at. So it's kind of unfair advantage that these guys, they're basically they're, they're the, the who times two, right? Cause they're able to do everything that the studio track has that you can't really re replicate on stage that the who, uh, would need more people to do what they do live, which I'm sure they do a great job of this live. But you, you know, uh, they'd have to figure out how to do the two guitar parts with just one guy, one guitarist, I think. So, um, yeah, no, he's a good singer. I didn't mean. I just think Tom and Danny are probably better vocalists. That's all I'm saying. And it does, it's nothing against Roger. It's it's just if you're to if you were to rate the level of ability, I would say Tom and uh, Danny have a better ability. That being said, so. I love the Who original song. It's a great track. But yeah, there's something that elevates with this live performance. They're all sweating, and that sweat does help their hair not be so cringe. Um, so you've seen them live, perform with that energy. And of course, they love the Who. They're from the same UK, I believe, right? They're all from the UK. So it's, you know, they're honoring a, a legendary band, uh, and they're they're killing the original. And they're honoring it by playing it. Not as, but like, like, that's the song, but they're elevating it to a live performance, I guess what I'm saying that you've got this live performance and it sounds like the studio because you got, you got all the instruments being able to play the acoustic part of it, the electrical part of it. And then, yeah, Doug, even with that, that baseline dong hit that you have to do to make it sound like the album, it's probably hard. I don't know how you do it. Like I thought if you gave me that bass guitar, it would probably take me months to figure out how to hit that note properly. So, yeah, great rock version. Uh, I love seeing the, the McFly young, you know, but I'm glad they're older. I do enjoy the older McFly, but I love seeing them at their early roots here, rocking it out, and uh, just seeing how, how much talent they have at such a young age. Yeah, fun song. I think Nathan, did I mention that Nathan's not here? Yeah. Where's Nathan? What's that? Who song? Who are you? Who, 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 who? Where's Nathan? Where, where? Uh, terrible. Uh, we don't know. Nathan quit. I don't know. He quit the channel. He's tired of doing these reactions. He still wants to take the money from me, so I don't know. I don't know what to do here, folks. So uh, he has some compromising photos of me, so I still have to pay him. So we'll see. Maybe he'll be on the next reaction. We don't know. Uh, thank you so much, Christina. Thank you uh, to all the McFly fans who've watched this video and uh, bearing with just me doing going solo. I do appreciate it, and we'll see you on the next one.